All right, let's dive in. Let's see what's going on. See what's going on. Okay, so um, I, I definitely have been working on the API integrations a ton with Team Sinker. We are growing. We are moving. I am going to remove this use effect. I don't want that on the landing page. Um, so in other words, if a user signed in, I don't want to redirect them. Actually, I just want to uh, keep them here. They have the means to redirect themselves. I think that's a weird thing to kind of control the users that much. So I won't be doing that. But um, here's what the dashboard is now looking like. It's very beautiful. Uh, you can see the 3D modeling, guys. Um, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. For those new, welcome to, to, to the series, Code, with, or Code Chronicles, program with PAGS. I'm the lovely host, PAGS. And I'm working on this project management solution. It is called Team Sinker. The idea is I want to um, elevate efficiencies and build a ton more stuff around this. There's a few things I need to build, uh, thanks to my software friends and, and sales friends and people alike. Uh, guys, I appreciate you so much for the advice. And and um, yeah, so a lot of stuff is moving. I'm, I'm really excited for this project. It's, it's phenomenal. So uh, let's go ahead and see what's broken, see what we can fix, see what's working. And, and yeah, so redirected, boom, team sinker. Let's see, I just posted a project. I should be, I shouldn't even be on this project's page. It should, um, I should have projects. So I think there's a fetching issue yesterday. I did swap out um, the projects to have a, uh, what's it called, a use, um, a use context hook and the context hook was just to pull the projects into the entire application, which I don't think is working right now. So let's, uh, let's look at it. It's going to be part of the project provider guys. There, there's so much stuff going on in my life. I'm so excited. I, I really want to share, um, uh, everything I can off provider. I see off provider. Okay. Maybe that's possibly why. I don't think the naming fully matters, but this would be project provider. And let's go to the layout. Project provider, boom, that should be the one. Could barrel all these providers together, such as provider or providers. Not a huge deal. <clears throat> But basically, I, I want to get all of the projects and provide them to the entire client. So when the client lands on here, they should have access to the all the projects in the entire application, all the tasks, everything, everything should already be delivered from a data standpoint. So um, that is what we are going to figure out today and then get to the thing that's most important, which is the Kanban page, because everything is linked to those tasks. And I might have to do some reconfiguring on the dashboard page, but I anticipated that anyways. So not a huge deal. Not a huge deal at all. So let's see project provider, fetch projects, use effect, fetch projects, boom. Let's just see if this is even running. Guys, there is so much stuff going on. I am looking for a um, side note for team Saker, This is a project management solution. We're picking up a few, um, uh, what's it called? Um, um, uh, um, what's, what's the name I want to say, uh, we're picking up a few users, I completely brain farted, but I was just reading your job is no longer discoverable. Free limit is limited to 10 applicants. That's absolute horseshit. <laughs> God dang it, LinkedIn. Uh, but I'm getting I'm getting applicants for Team Sinker. Um, I'm vetting for an account executive, so and a BDR role. So if you are one of those people, account executive or BDR role, looking for a commission, a, a commission only sales position, uh, B 2 C sales, um, I'm your guy. You know, um, give me a call. Let's let's connect. Let's make it happen. But those are going to be huge. Uh, and then obviously, I'm going to need an AE and then a few BDRs. But 
I'll start with AE number one because I can do all the BDR stuff as well, all the engineering stuff, scraping data, getting the warm leads, all that stuff. Not a big deal for me. Um, and basically, let me just explain the revenue model I'm going to share with the AE is you're going to get cut in on the MRR, the monthly revenue and return. I don't want to um, pay initially. I'm, I'm not going to, guys. I'm sorry. I don't, I, I don't have, you know, a 60 or 80 grand to drop in a base pay for right now, but um, we will get there. We will get there. Not not worried about it, but but I am vetting for a scrappy AE, someone who's who's ready to work and um you know it's 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 about finding a quality person for that position because i'm i'm at a point where i need to delegate right where i've built the ui ux the devops the front end the back end the database management i'm doing a lot right and um and obviously the the youtube channel the branding the marketing and i i need someone to do one role i already have users warm leads i need someone to convert people to um to subscribers and, and and basically yell on why this project is is very important and why um, why it's a good system. So um, and obviously there's a lot of things coming down the pipeline as well. Features that are are just going to be killer, as mentioned earlier in the episode. I've I've got some some friends and and people who've given me some really really powerful ideas, and I'm collecting feedback all the time. I'm listening to to users currently who are. Um, telling me, you know, hey, I would, I would love for this type of thing. Um, the report issue was was something that someone had requested. One of the users had requested. So, um, so I'm definitely keeping my ears open, um, but but I'm also keeping my eyes open for a good AE. So, if if that is you, I just posted the job. We're getting 12 applicants. It says your job is no longer discoverable. So that's quite unfortunate, but. Um, I'll look into that and see where I can kind of get more promotion. I don't, I don't want to just pay out the out the tail for these things. So um, I'll, I'll be interviewing a few of these people. These these look like quality candidates, and and hopefully this is a a system that they're ready to sell. So um, yeah, guys, that's that's out there for an opportunity. Um, and then obviously down the road, I will certainly be looking for developers, but we need to start turning um, significant MRR. So that's the goal at this point. Um, we'll see We'll see how far we get on that. But one thing at a time, you know, it's it's a lot of work, I realize, just, just doing all of this, wearing 50 different hats. But I'm loving it. I really am. I really am. And I'm super inspired by one of my one of my neighbors who's slowly turning into one of my great friends. Um, he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. This guy is an absolute he's a, he's a weapon. You know, he does he does 15 different businesses, it feels like. And um, I'm super, super inspired by him. He's got a ton of jobs, ton of employees. He he works um, in not software, but but the guy is an absolute weapon. You know, that's that's the truth. He's he's doing amazing. So um, he's inspired me to, to start vetting for my own employees and um, and yeah, getting this thing moving. So so that's what's out there. And, and, and I could I could really use that help um, most importantly. So um, if, if that's you, if that's someone, you know, Team Sinker, we need you. We need you. Um, but let's see what's going on here. Let's dive in. I don't know why. Oh, you know why? This may not have the drag columns, I realize. So that's why it's not fetching the projects. Potentially not all the projects have the drag columns. That was something we just added. So that piece of data could be throwing a bit of an error. Boom. And there it is. That is exactly why. That is exactly why. Not all these projects have that. Um, associated with them and that's why I was throwing a bug so um, let me pop this off the screen guys three months ago starting this journey I am so proud to to have a, a SaaS a, a actual product I mean this is phenomenal I remember three months ago thinking like I need to build a SaaS product and fast forward here we are and and three months ago, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do some of these things, but just figuring it out, you know, fly it, uh, build it as, as I'm flying it. And 
and it's uh, it's somehow coming together. So very, very excited. What I could do for this uh, solution, now transitioning back to the project, um, I could have a drag columns, um, just get columns type function and not include it with the projects, but I really do want to include everything with the projects. So they're just one man uh, jam, like they're all packed together. So I think, I think what I need to do, hmm, I have chat GPT update this endpoint. If there are no drag columns, post a blank column, just an initial like to do column and boom, and then grow from there. So I think, I think that'll work great. It's something I kind of always wanted to do anyways. I am having this bug guys. And what we're doing today is focusing on this Kanban page. Um, I worked on it um, yesterday. You could see some of these drag columns. Yep, that's gonna be the error that we're experiencing because not all of these projects have that piece of data. So that is gonna be conditionally rendered. Let's see, let's see how this works, boom. But we should see the columns now associated with the projects that we fetch, which is awesome. It'll probably throw an error here as well. Let's try that. Boom. And let's see. Chunk upload. Guys, software is so fun. It's so interesting. You know, it's it's this challenging puzzle all the time. Okay, but boom, we're still experiencing that error because a lot of these columns aren't built out. So let's if we can hard fetch, no, not working. Okay, so let me let me ask ChatGPT to clean this up. But the idea is, I was just showing the columns real briefly associated to this project selector, and guys, it, it cleaned up the project selector. It was it was exactly the right move. Cleaning this up is going to be the right move. So um, the project selector was always having this bug because I always was fetching from the store, but now if everything's delivered to the client. The project selector is just saying, okay, which piece of data, I already have the data, which one do I want to use? Which one do I show to the client? Um, but if, if, if the client was saying, oh, no, no, go to the data every time, go fetch that data, go fetch that data. It, one, more request, right? One, it costs more. Um, two, it, it's slow. It, it, it was buggy. You know, there's tiny things. I had to put stuff in session stores, local storage, and and... But a, a strategy like this is is much more efficient where it's like, no, no, client logs in, boom, you have all your projects, at least all the read data. Now, if you want to update stuff or, or create stuff, now we're going to have to deal with that. But um, but all the read data, boom, it's there. So so that's what's most important. Um, let's see. I'm having a bug with getting projects. And I believe... It is because most projects do not have a drag columns piece of data. Can you add that data if it doesn't exist? Boom. And let me copy this in and paste it. Let's see what chat can come up with us. But yeah, guys, again, it's just it's just a different way. It's it's more looking at this as like an SPA than a than a um, than something else, right? So um, let me say here is my model and endpoint bone. And what I mean by that is I don't want to have a ridiculous amount of request. I want to have as little as request as possible um, for obvious reasons, right? It's if there's more efficient ways to do things, it's, it's going to be quicker. It's going to be less expensive. Let's see. Okay. Chat GPT is giving us a hard time right now. Boom. Guys, chat GPT is just phenomenal. As many know, many, many know. Something went wrong. Okay, why? Well, let's. Something went wrong again. Okay, weird. I wonder if something's up with ChatGPT. So we will have to 
build this ourselves, unfortunately. So um, basically what I want to do is check for const uh, drag columns and we'll await prisma dot, um, it's gonna be drag column and we'll say git or find mini. Uh, we could even do find first. So if there isn't one, uh, we could do find mini either or where, um, how would we get the drag columns by the project ID? And let's see, user ID. Mm, so by project ID, I believe, boom, we need to pass that into this function just to check. So I'll say const project ID equals rec dot body. And this way I can also fetch the um, well, I can't get the projects if there's no project ID. How do I do that? Um, how do I do that, right? We could do this asynchronously where first we get the projects. That makes more sense. And I say project Here we go. This, this is maybe how we could do it. So get the projects number one. So this, this should all work because we are fetching projects. Um, boom. So there's the project. We see them in the array. Um, here's all of our projects. Obviously we're going to have some errors, uh, fetching projects because the drag column doesn't exist and we're fetching for it. I'm going to get the very first project here if it exists and then just get the project ID. Um, and I, I think, I think that'll do, I think that's how we can use the projects to get a project ID and then out of the project ID, um, I could say const drag columns, await prisma dot drag column, right? We want to build out this, 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 um, this drag column object. And if this object doesn't exist, we want to post one. We want to make it, we want to make it exist. So that is the idea. Boom, boom, there we go. Spelled pris Prisma wrong, Primsa. And let's see cons drag column if it doesn't exist well it shouldn't just be in just one project though it needs to be in every single project so how does that work ay 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 chat gpt i need you i need you i need you um, um let's see Let's see, let's see. So basically, if if no drag column, right, we then want to post a const create drag column. We want to await prisma drag column dot create. And the data, this is basically going to be a post function. So we need the drag column ID. Drag column title. We need all those things, right? <clears throat> I might have updated it. Yep, to ID, uh, order, and title. Boom. All those things don't exist, so we need to obviously create them. I believe random UUID is here, so we could say. Uh, hmm. Const drag column ID. We just need to generate a quick ID and one that's new and, and unique. So crypto, boom, and we'll say random UU ID. Order, that's fine. It can go into the zeroth position and title. We can always initialize the first one with to do. And create drag.column, res.send, create 
drag column. I think that could work potentially. So let's try. Um, let's see what's going on. Yeah, guys, super excited. It's, it's so fun building, building, uh, this, this team sinker thing. And, and, um, I'm super grateful as well. I picked up a, oh, I, I don't want to say it, but those, those who follow me on LinkedIn know, those who follow me on LinkedIn know, and it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm super grateful for my friend who, uh, it scooped me up for for his company. It's a it's a phenomenal company. So and he and he's a phenomenal guy. Great, great, great friend of mine. Um easily, easily one of my one of my best friends or, or certainly better friends at the very least. Um he's a great guy. You know, he is phenomenal. So And we've we found ourselves in business together, and I am very much looking forward to it. I think I think it's going to result in um, very fruitful endeavors. Okay, so let me. Um, ChatGPT is working on a difference window, but I think we have a rough idea of what we need to do. Um, let me plug this back in chat. I am having a. Fetch projects air. In which if the project doesn't have a drag column, it throws an error. Here is my endpoint and model. Boom. Okay, so there's the endpoint and here is the model. Guys, and, and the best the best part I like about building software. Um, like the, the way I'm, I'm building it is like, I am thoroughly <laughs> robustly testing things, right? Like this report issue, just, just streamline, um, uh, report issue flow. If you call it that it's, it's, it's just solid, you know, it's just, it's just this really solid piece of thought. You can't go to the next step, you know, got to put a title in, then you go to the next step or you can go back. And if you're like, oh, I didn't mean to come here, you could go back to the dashboard, or of course you can always hit back on your your browser, but it's just it's just really robustly built, right? Where even this can't submit it unless you please enter a description and um, and having that dismissal, like it, it's building really strong software and um, submitting it and then getting forwarded to a thank you screen. Thank you for your feedback. Boom, you know, it's like, it's just, it's just solid, you know, I'm just, I'm pumped on it. Just little things like that. Super, super pumped. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Drag columns, uh, boom. Um, let's maybe delete that. Let's, let's plug this back in the chat. Ultimately, I want the, the endpoint to deliver like this so I can have drag columns. How can we do this? Knowing the project needs. <clears throat> Boom. Okay. So I said knowing the project needs them, even though I may not have them. It's the last last thought. So, uh, but, but, gosh, I'm so lucky. I'm I'm getting a ton of support on um on on the <clears throat> on the uh you know on this 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 system it's it's awesome it's truly awesome and i love it because it, it, feel, it feels reliable it feels like it's not this like 
AI, super advanced, da 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 da. It's just like, no, like it's just a solid piece of software. Kind of boring, you know. Obviously, phenomenally, you know, thought through and, and everybody helping construct it and, and everyone um, putting a hand in here. But it's it's not this like, oh, I, I need to build the software that's that's AI, NASA, rocket, bulletproof that it's it's like, no, it's it's. Um, now, 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 believe me, I, I believe I could hang a toe with, you know, the AI blockchain, um, stuff and I definitely have a lot to learn in that department, but, but I feel like a lot of people are, are flocking to the AI thing right now. And I'm, I'm going the other way. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want to touch that right now. Not at all. Not at all. Now, long term, I do. I think, I think it's a phenomenal thing. Same with blockchain. It's a phenomenal piece of technology that. I think is useful, but um, Chester, being an amazing friend of mine, he pointed it out to me. He's like, "All blockchain is, it's just an open database. It's just an open database. That's all it is. Like, don't think of it all all special. And it's just an open database that you can, um, you know, obviously predefined conditions with your smart contracts, but those are basically just functions exposed to the public. Like, that's a serverless function." A little more to it than that, but, but, <clears throat> okay, let's see. So, um, what if drag columns don't exist? Is there a way to make it conditional? Question mark. Can you do that on a server? I don't, I don't know. I do not know. Guys, and the YouTube channel is growing. The, the tentative goal in front of me is to get to 500 subscribers, but I'm trying to get to 100 videos before I get to 500 subscribers, and I don't know if that's going to happen. I feel like we're going to hit 500 subscribers before 100 videos and trying to time it out where it's, it's the similar. I don't know why. It's just good numbers. You know, it, round, it rounds itself off. It's, it seems like the appropriate, appropriate thing. So... <clears throat> Very, very, very excited. Um, and my buddy, he got engaged. That's super, super interesting as well. Invited me out to um, be one of his groomsmen. I'm very excited for him. Very proud of him too. This this guy is a phenomenal guy as well. He is one of those those friends in my life that I've always been able to rely on. Another one of my best friends, you know. Just solid, solid guy. So very proud of him and everything he's accomplished. Um Guys, I, w I wish I had more of a, um, like a solid, well, and I'll, I'll build more learn episodes, but but sometimes the Code Chronicles, I, I know, can be just, we can only go as fast as the software being built, you know? Like, we can only go, this is the real software development experience. I think, <clears throat> I know on YouTube, it's like really refined, like usually people will have like a all their code wrote up right next to them, but this is like actually the real software development experience is... You're like debugging, you're like slowly trying to piece it all together one bit at a time. <clears throat> so I don't think this uh, project is coming back because of this drag columns. Um, let's see, Prisma, let's see, include Verse select maybe maybe select is um, let's see now I wonder if I need to build a drag column index like like do 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 I need to connect the relationship here or not or not. Um, hmm. interesting, 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 interesting. It was working great yesterday too, which is always, always blowing my mind a bit when it, when it works and then you wake up and, and it doesn't work and, 
Huh. So I could post them to, oh, you know why it is though? It's because I was, I was using a brand new account, I'm sure, where the new account was a new guy and did not have um, columns. So let's pop open a new account. And then maybe I'll, I'll just flush, um, <clears throat> I'll flush the, uh, the database of projects, but I, I really shouldn't do that though. Cause there are people, people using it. So, so that's probably not a good idea just to, but maybe I can meticulously pick out the ones that I am, um, not using. Oops. Not mean to go to YouTube, I meant to go to Yacht Mail. Okay. So this should send a verification code from team sinker. Boom. There it is. And boom, here it is. Okay, and sign in. Let's see, or it should go to the dashboard at this point. It should say go to the dashboard. Um, so hold on, let me fix that real quick. Public layout page content. Let's see, user profile. We are not gonna check for user profile anymore. We are going to check for user id Let's use context boom off context boom and we need to pull that in i don't even think it gets destructured I think it's just from boom okay so we got the off context maybe it is destructured okay fair enough and we'll pop in the user ID instead of the user profile. I found that to be a little bit more reliable just using the user ID. So basically I just wanna have a redirect button for them to go to the dashboard immediately. Maybe I should instantiate the, the use effect, but not a huge deal. Comparatively to fetching all the project data, that's much larger of a consideration and concern. So, um, boom, go to dashboard. It's already there because we know this user is there because of the user ID. So, and I do have that in the clerk video of how I did that, um, where I could pull in the user ID from um, any context. That's in the clerk, um, learn clerk. Uh, I think step-by-step -step tutorial is what it's called. Learn Clerk in Next.js step-by-step tutorial. So let's say uh, my first project here. Boom. So this builds a project, posts the user to my database, and redirects us to where we need to go. So um, it should be a little bit quicker than that, but obviously being the first user, um, it lets us know we're using premium. I'm just showing the project ID up top so I can do that. We're still having that get projects issue. Mm. Well, let's not include the columns then. Let's erase this. Maybe what I could do is just have a endpoint for getting columns that needs the project ID. I just don't like it. I, I want the project to be fully delivered if that's possible, but it might make sense because that is kind of one component where, where um, it's it's associated with the project, but, but yesterday we went over in the Lucid charts. It's also something that needs to kind of be its own piece of data. So it is, it is worth thinking about separately, I guess, and it maybe seems like a half decent response. So post column is just a button I put right here so I could post columns to a project um, so if I pick the project ID, it should show me the project ID at the top though. Um, obviously we're going to get those post column, uh, the project store drag column issue because they don't exist. So let's think about it. Hmm. Let's think about it. So I have, I have this focused project, uh, piece as well, where I could see which project is. currently being uh, selected, but I'll just pop it in here. So project ID, we should see a lot of the project ID, ID right here, boom, so here it is. This is the project ID, and then I have this post column button right here, create column, where I just hard code it to 
Uh, basically, I should just hard code it to the focused project uh, project ID, but this will do for now. And I'll post the column called test, and then we should now actually have the drag column. So if I go back here um, and include the drag column now, we should at least have one. So I know that was a little confusing, but I need that all to be programmatically done is kind of what what it all comes down to. So um, should exist now, drag column. I see that there's a user's issue. Oh, this needs to go outside of that, I believe. Or not, let's see, let's see. Guys, you can see, you can see the development process is just wrestling the whole way, right? Until, until you kind of get the, the result you want. Cannot read, uh, undefined zero. That's fair, we don't really need that anymore. We just need the ID to post it. I can actually delete this, don't need that either. We should see at least one column because we just posted it. And I'll check the database real quick to see if it is there. Just delete that, not a big deal. Not sure why it's broken. All right, come on, Mongo. Um, guys, I'll wrap up the episode. I know this was kind of just, just boring wrestling, but it's one of those days you, you got to still have the boring wrestles. So let me pop open this and drag column. Boom. Let's refresh. We should have another one associated to. I don't think that was the ID for the project. The project ID was. Yeah, this six, six, three something. Um, okay, so so maybe this isn't working the way it should be. Let me look into it more. Uh, project ID column, drag column ID. Ah, I've got it. Okay, so that'll exactly do it right there. So let's post a column and we should have 20 now. Boom, there it is. And it should be associated to this project, project ID, boom, boom, boom. Different unique ID, even though it's the same name, we don't want to overlap columns. And then let me refetch. We should see the column now, or at least some placeholder of it on the front end. But we do not, so that's an issue. So I'll say projects dot, um, oh, you know, I might need to select it. Boom, there it is, okay. So we'll need to default select it, that's fine, but that is the column that we just posted. If I post another and then select, maybe it'll, oh, I need to refresh. So we need to have reactivity. Obviously there's a lot of stuff going into these columns in the column order. So boom, now we got two of them, perfect. So I'm gonna have to do some wrestling though to figure out the order to programmatically do all the things I just did. Um, Cause obviously I shouldn't have to hand type in the, um, the this bit, That's I'm not really too focused on that. That's just a simple um, doing this. Focus project and saying the project ID right here, boom. The focus project is just the one I've selected. So if I have if I have two projects, just the out of the two, if I choose one, that's the one I focused on. Or um, I, I was gonna name it selected project, but I forget why I didn't, but either way, tomato, tomato, not huge on naming like that as long as it roughly uh, denotes what it's doing. I, I'm more about building the software and moving. I, I don't I don't want to sit there and argue over over names for for hours on it. <laughs> I've I've worked with engineers like that guys where where it's like they'll sit there for two hours just to argue over a name and it's like build the fucking product. Who cares? <laughs> build the thing. Like build 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 build. You know like if you need to rename it, you got a keyboard. Like you could always go back and rename it. You know. It is important though to name it within relevancy, but but if if you're splitting your hairs, do we call it a project or do we call it a, a system? It's like just choose one, move on. Like who cares? You know, like do we call it a project or a collection of managed data? Like just just pick one. Like like whatever. Just just move on. Pick one. Flip a coin. Go ahead. You know. Um, but so so let me show you guys how the create project works. Um, you sign up. So we'll say my. 
uh, or second project, right? Boom, next step. And it should post this project to this user, which is awesome. Boom, you will be redirected shortly. I need to kind of fix this, this uh, error here, but um, not a huge deal. And I should have two projects to choose from. Maybe I need to refresh, refetch the projects, but um, they should pop up. Boom, so first project and second project. And if I choose project two, I got a different ID. If I choose project one, it's a different ID. So um, that's huge because obviously we want to check for these projects. Um, they're gonna be associated with, right, different things. So this this first project, for instance, has um, three columns here. And this this second one only has, it has none. So um, that's that's why it's super important to get this this project context all important i know it's kind of an abstract episode there's not a lot of uh, tangibles here but but we did land on something so it's a really solid system guys and and that's that's what's really exciting about this because we are going to need to start dragging these as well next and start reordering them and that's going to be the 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 thing after kind of figuring out the posting of them so um but this relationship is is huge that it's defined where we have columns associated to. Well, let's try it out. Let's say column four, second project. Let's go ahead and give it a post. I spelled project wrong. Don't care. And let's um, let's give it a post. So then we can differentiate first column projects and the second column projects. But looks like it was named test. So that could be something I'm passing into the store um, hard, uh, hard coded, but it shouldn't have done that. The title should have been column for second project. But the good news is we could at least see that there's one to three, um, but I do want to make sure it's different data. So hold on, let's finish that out before doing that. So I've created column, I pass in the column ID and the title and the project ID, all that stuff. Okay, so that looks good. And then let me go to the columns API. Um, I should not be hard coding the title in. Looks like I'm not. So I might've just been, I just might've needed to save or something or refire off the server or something. Let's see what, what uh... oh, I posted that to the first column. <laughs> or the first project, but that, that'll work. We can at least differentiate data. So let's see how, how it goes. And the other thing is the columns themselves might be, oh, perfect, there it is. So we have different data for different projects and that is perfect. That's absolutely everything we want. So just to, just to make sure that these projects are different from each other. The last thing I can check is to make sure that this user is also not having access to other users' columns. That would be very, very key. So the projects need to be exclusive to the users. The columns need to be exclusive to the projects, um, so on and so forth. So those relationships to me were really hard to, to grab my head around, the many-to-many -many relationships and then also the exclusive many-to-many -many relationships. So I guess that's what any relationship really should be is exclusive, but, um, but yeah, so, um, let's, let's pop this open, get a verification code. Guys, I love this system. It's, it's just working. You know what I mean? It's just solidly working, right? Um, kind of the last piece to, to distill this application to its bread and butter, the core pieces is what we're working on right now, the Kanban component. So very excited we're here and then she is literally good to go to be sold and that is why i'm vetting for a ae position um super super important so <clears throat> we'll say a separate project for this so my new separate project spelled it wrong i am a engineer not a speller and then i should get redirected it took a really long time, but we'll fix that. And then I should have my projects here. They should already be here. So I'll, I'll look into some of these tweaks behind the scenes. I need it to be a lot more smooth than what it is, but I wonder if I need to post a, oh, you know what? If I just posted a um, drag column with this post, Whenever I post a uh, project, I think it would work great. 
I think every project then would, would technically have one of these columns if we just initialized it with a to-do. Um, that might be the workaround. That, that would actually, I think, work great. Yeah, so if this also did that, that would be perfect. So we selected a project. We could see that the UI defaults to it, but we'll default the project selected to that as well. Um, if we go to the Kanban page, we should see no projects to or no columns to this project. It should be separate from that other users. Perfect, guys. That is working phenomenally. I know it looks a little sloppy, but the the data handling is is super important. So, very happy it's here, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up and and I guess just give it one last last test. Let's um. Let's go ahead and say column for for new project. And this should only be an exclusive column to this project. So um, I'm going to save. I'll even refresh just to make sure. And we'll check the data. We got 20, 24 bits. I didn't post it quite yet. Um, let's post it. Boom. Should have 25 now. Nice, we do. Project ID is undefined. Oh, I didn't select it. Okay, so we need to we need to default that and get that handled as well. So now 26 and we should have a column for this project. Let's see. I'll go ahead and go to the base project selector. Um, and we see it's not there because I need to select. Boom, there it is. Guys, that's amazing. So um, getting all those relationships proper, super important. And then uh, we'll need to do the dragon and drop in here. But I will wrap it up here. The The thing I need to do is just select the first project on a use effect here. And I will do that behind the scenes and just set it in the store. And that's it. That's it, folks. So, um, but I'm really, really proud of this system. It's, it's certainly a lot more cleaned up using the use context uh, hook pulling in some of these providers and stuff. It, it really cleaned up a lot of the components. I don't have these massive use effects that just weren't clean and they weren't working right. So um, really excited, really excited. Set focus project to first project. Nice. So now we should always see that project ID, I believe at the top. I believe so. Drag columns, oops. But anyway, I, I will continue to work on this and get it handled. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know it was a bit of a, a long-winded one, but I really appreciate the viewership. I really appreciate just sticking by. Um, I've got a lot to grow and a lot to go. So thank you so much. We'll, uh, we'll um, circle back and circle the wagons and, and see where we're at in the next episode. Cheers.